All right, so I have my oats here. It's just 40 grams of oats, tablespoon of brown sugar since I don't have any honey, a bit of water, throw it in the microwave for my drink. Got my C4 pre-workout. Um, for, the, for those of you guys that are, actually go to the gym and stuff, if you ever notice that like, once you get down towards like the last scoop of your pre-workout, it's almost impossible to get every single grain of the uh, pre-workout inside your cup. Instead, just mix it with the water. Um, and that sounds really simple and kind of like like everyone knows that, but to be honest, I didn't. And when someone said it, I was like, oh, wow, that's like really cool. But um, first and foremost, let me apologize for not putting up any videos last week like I said I would. Um, last week was kind of hectic for me. Um, not necessarily that that was an excuse because I feel like if you're a week as hectic, that gives you a lot of opportunities to film. But um, I just, I, just, I guess I just needed the time off. And anyway, so I have a lot of cool stuff that I want to show you guys that I want your input on and the kind of the stuff that I'm going to show you what I've been working on throughout the week. And um, I guess for right now, we're waiting on Nav's, should I call her a girlfriend? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try to start this video all over again. This morning, I woke up on the right side of the bed and I started to prepare my breakfast like I normally do every morning. And then, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I suffered from some type of anxiety or panic attack that everything just like, I felt like everything, everything around my day came at me all at one time and I just snapped and I said, you know what, I'm not going to film with an attitude because you guys deserve more and I want to put out good content and not something that I feel like I'm rushing. So. Uh, came back from the gym. I released all that negative energy there came back home now. I'm feeling better now I really want to start pushing the uh, the masks that I've been wearing lately I've been getting a lot of good responses even from strangers Like we went to the club that night from my last video and people were just like dude. That's so crazy Like that's really cool. I had girls coming up to me wanted to take pictures like I don't I don't know why but it was just like they probably thought I was on drugs <laughs> because I've seen some girls snapchat was like yo this dude's all the way turned up so I gave myself 30 days uh, two weeks ago, yeah, about two weeks ago, to have these already released. I'm very behind schedule because everything is done by myself and basically on a shoestring budget. You guys already seen the uh, the Python ones, right? And just so you guys can see what it looks like on, boom. So you can clearly see, but this is how it looks like when it's on. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but um. The thing about this is it has the, gen the genuine python in the front, uh, silk in the back, and these strings right here, this is this is not the string that they're going to come with because this is like really thick and like just like really resistant, so it kind of hurts your ear if you have it on for longer than like an hour. But uh, this is just something that I had laying around that I just wanted to see if it actually worked and fit right, and it did. But um, one thing about this is people always complain, oh, it doesn't have any holes for you to breathe. That's not the issue because it's not a full face mask, obviously, so it's not going to hinder your breathing. The thing that did hinder my breathing was the lining, the silk right here, because this is the one I wore in the club. Actually, I wore the other one, but they all have the, the silk lining, and which makes it really luxurious. But what ends up happening is that when you're dancing and like you're breathing heavy, this this fabric here it doesn't it covers your nostrils and it doesn't allow you to breathe because of I guess like the just the characteristics of silk. It's like a really uh, tight knit material, so that got changed out. And um, this is the one that I wore right here. And this one still has a silk in here, but has uh, smaller strings. And um, I really like this one because it just, if, for one, it fits well. And it just looks really cool. So you can clearly see, boom. This is how it's supposed to look. Um, I always wear mine with the hat, whatever. This is uh, lambskin suede right here, which has more of a, this is like 100% cotton silk. I mean, cotton fabric rather than the silk and if you can see I don't know if you can tell but it is perforated with uh, maybe like 20 holes in there the strings are I'm gonna keep these same gauges but this is gonna be black I just happened to stop by and pick up white it's what I needed but this is how this one looks this one is, is a lot more subtle than the python skin one but I really like it see this is how this one looks I really like it because it adds more style to it it gives me it gives more dimensions and it just adds more 
character to it. So I really like this one. It's a uh, 49ers joint that someone sent in to me to have it done. It's not connected or anything like that. I still have to finish it. But uh, I was just trying to rush to get it done. But this is how it looks. He uh, hit me up on Instagram and was like, hey, dude, I got this hat I want to send to you. So I said, gave him the P.O. box, sent it out. And um, I think it's coming out pretty dope. Nico decided to go to the courthouse to get whatever he's got to take care of done. And uh, <clears throat> he's supposed to be here at 11. It's... It's 12 10 now I'm watching Christian Guzman because this is one of the one of the only YouTube channels that I watch it's like fitness related and this dude just copped a Ferrari man it's like you know I, I met him once I don't know him personally but he seems like a pretty cool guy but just the fact that I was watching his YouTube channel years ago before Alpha Elite was anything and um, dude like he went to a Huracan uh, Ferrari, and it's, it's just really cool. Like, even though I know him personally, like I'm still proud of him as a person. And you know, starting off on YouTube, like you know, that, that's that's goals right there. That's dreams right there. So, man, Christian, I don't know if you're ever gonna watch this, but me and Annabelle say, dude, keep it up, bro. I know you ain't gonna stop anytime soon, and you really do motivate all of us to keep on going do this YouTube thing. So. Hopefully I get to run, in, run into you again, maybe work out with you at Alpha Elite, and um, that'll be something that I would really look forward to. This one. Sure you want this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we have to use this one first, and then we we'll use this one. Did you lose my spray bottle? My sprayer? Did you lose it? Hmm? Was it you? It wasn't you? No. And who was it? Okay, we gotta do your hair. It's a little better, right? It's a little better. <laughs> Everyone got gym essentials, like, gym essential. I would not work out if I didn't have these, I swear to God, I wouldn't. Boom. Uh, wallet, I'm gonna need that. Literally, I'm like a cartoon character. I literally wear, like, the same thing when I go to the gym. Like, these, these joggers right here, these are, like, my favorite ones. I love them. Uh, this shirt, not so much. Um, I just wear it just to wear it. But uh, I typically wear black shirt. Let me see. I'm going to wear this one today. It's just a black shirt made by Food of the Loom. That's that. So It's always black shirt, gray joggers, and my black... What are they? What are they? <sighs> Roche. I don't know if it's Roche, Roshi, whatever, but I had these for a minute. It's time to get a new pair. These things have been troopers. What? I don't know. That's in Japanese. I can't read that. Yeah, that's in Japanese. All right. Let me, let me show my shoes real quick, baby. So I had these. <laughs> I walked all over Japan with them. Like, they don't even have any tread. They're right now probably a freaking hazard because whenever you're walking on like the uh, like the white part of the street that's like painted on, they will slip. So it's time to get a new pair. They're really cheap. They're only like seventy five dollars. I'm just too lazy to go to the mall and actually fucking buy a new pair. How was it, bro? I fell in How was it? Court. Whatever you have to do. Why are you washing your hands? Ah, I feel sweaty. <laughs> sweaty, huh? Is that what we call it nowadays? <laughs> I'm surprised you guys didn't be alone for once. Remind me to buy some water. Remind you to buy some what? Water. Oh, this water I, tastes funny. I have no problem reminding you to do that. <laughs> Yo, should we do that thing at Publix, bro? Where we get like the water for like 35 cents a gallon? But we need the tub thing. What tub thing? Don't we need a tub? Like a disposer? Thing that makes it cold? Well, that that's that's if you buy the five gallon one. We can we can get that one, or we can get the gallons that are refillable for thirty five cents each. Better than Is paying. It in the fridge. Nico, it's, it's a gallon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Yo, what hurricane is here now, bro? Hurricane Matthew. Sandy. No, no. <laughs> it's a hurricane Sandy. Have some respect. Why? Sandy. Because that, that devastated New York in like 2000, 2011 maybe. What? A, a hurricane in New York? I don't even remember that. Yeah, bro, Hurricane Sandy. <laughs> you can't see the gold gym sign? Nope. But he didn't even look full cool Arab. He looked like black Arab. 
He looks like like a younger Nav. Yeah. No, he does. He looks like he looks like one of uh, uh, Ethan. I, you're the. <laughs> Hello. So we just left Golds. We end up hitting. What was it? Uh, leg day. Leg day. I'm so confused because typically on Tuesday we hit shoulders, but uh, now I wanted to revert back to the old scheme that we used to have. So we ended up hitting legs. We 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 normally do squats, but we haven't done squats in a couple weeks, so we switched it up with some leg presses. Um, there was some old head on there that was hitting leg press, and like whenever I see someone on there and they throwing up more weight, I try to, that kind of motivates me. He ended up throwing up more weight than I did, like maybe like seven plates on each side. But uh, I, held, I held it at six plates on each side for reps of 10. We did three sets of that. Uh, typically, the beginning of our workout, it starts like with power. And uh, after that, we went to some leg curls, leg extensions, calf raises. Uh, Nat was doing some weird thing where he like, he pretends like the, uh, the bar is on his shoulders. And <laughs> you know that was all Moses because he's the one that comes up with these sexual poses. Come on, bro. We got kids here, dog. As a sexual poses. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Anyway, and so man with Moses, you dumb gay, <laughs> dumb gay. Anyway, so uh, right now Nico's about to get headed back to his girlfriend's house. Not She's probably gonna back. smack him around like he's used to. Look, look, look at his back. Let me see the back, bro. Yeah, I want to see it. You can't even. Right, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but his back is like all scratched up, and uh, I don't know what kind of weird, freaky night he had, but I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> anyway, he's going to her house now. He's gonna go hang out with his kids. She's taking me to Bama. For real? Yo, how come I can't find a girl that does that kind of stuff for me, bro? Because you're still stuck Look, on if you're... <laughs> <laughs> Look, if there's any females out there who want to take me to Bahama Breeze, I'm more than willing, okay? But, yo, Nico, how's she taking you there? They don't have a dollar menu on Bahama Breeze. She's paying for it. Oh, half-price apps? She has a car. Damn. Yo, you find yourself a keeper, bro. And she's a manager. Can you just oh, actually, and she's a manager. Okay, so real quick, guys. Um... Last night, I was kind of making up these hats, I mean these hats, these masks, and I came up with a couple different concepts that I think I want to run with, but I kind of wanted to run about you guys, and uh, I guess get your opinion on it. Um, hold on. This one is made out of, I don't know, you can see the pattern, boom, boom. This is made out of like a, like a synthetic leather, almost like a vinyl, but it's embossed, and um, I really like the way it looks. Don't worry about like the white strings because my black ones are still coming in and this is just what I have to work with for right now. But um, this is how it looks like. Boom, just like that. Um, I really like the way it feels. Um, I guess the look is okay, but again, thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't thumbs down the video. Just <laughs> put it in the comments. Uh, the next one is, now this is the concept I've been working with, with uh, between the two. It's either this one, right? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Don't worry too much about necessarily the pattern, but rather the contrast between these two. Obviously you can see uh, one of them is like a full fabric on, on each side. The other one is a half fabric, half Italian lambskin. And boom, this is it. Mm -hmm. I really like this one. And because I was kind of contemplating between having leather and then having fabric, but I think that the combination of the two Kind of gives it a nice balance and again a contrast between the two but there was something that really piqued my interest i had a shirt from my friend Wim, uh, from my friend salim who who is the owner of whimsical and they make like popsicles and stuff like that so he sent me a, a shirt that i decided to cut up and make a mask out of it and it gave me the idea of having my masks branded in the same exact way so here it is so it's the same two-tone kind of one, but it says Whimsical on the side. Now, this is his company. It's not my company. This is just a shirt that he gave me that I happened to cut up, and this is what I made out of it, and I, I really like it. It gives me, gives me something to think about when it comes to how I want to brand these and how I want to make them, and I really like them. I talked to a friend of mine. That, uh, he gave me some really good advice. He said that, you know, Florida and L.A. is really hot, so maybe it, they won't gravitate towards it, but it seems to be in line with the fact that I'm getting a lot of my friends from up north telling me like, dude, that's really dope, send me some. So um, I think I'm gonna try to push these as more of like a seasonal thing rather than just like, just to kind of push them out. This is just gonna be something that is gonna be primarily pushed towards the guys that are in the cooler climates. So, um, you know, if you guys are from New York, New Jersey, uh, Pennsylvania, any, any one of those northern states, you know, kind of give me your feedback. Let me know, is this something 
that you would not necessarily wear every single day to try to, you know, as, as a fashion piece, but maybe something to kind of complement your outfit and just to kind of give you um, a little edge in your style. So uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I'm really excited to hear you guys' feedback. You know, anything is helpful, uh, whether it be, you know, for it or just a little constructive criticism. But um, let me know. You have the address in there? Yeah, Melina, right? Yeah. Right. Made it home. Uh, Clarissa had made some delicious dinner. I was over there spending some time with them for a little bit and took my daughter in. And now I'm back home. Uh, right now, I'm going to end this vlog and I'm going to throw it in the editing software and have it up for Wednesday's vlog. And I think that the, um, the film is going to continue on to tomorrow so that way I can upload a new video, hopefully Friday, if not the latest on Saturday. But, uh... Guys, it's been fun today. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and watching it. Again, guys, um, these masks are are something that's been on my mind a lot and a lot of new ideas that I didn't vlog for on, on this one, maybe the next one. But guys, just from what you guys saw already, let me know, honestly, what you guys think. Um, I can get feedback from friends and family, but from total strangers, believe it or not, it actually helps. So guys, please... Um, any, any kind of thoughts you have, put it down in the description below, and I will see you guys either Friday or Saturday. One love. Thanks so much for watching the video. Click on the like. If you want to subscribe, that's pretty cool too, but um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.